Sorry if my own talking is very quiet. It's late at night at my house, but I still have to talk. Um, I have a whole library of Steam games that I haven't ever played, and I think I need some support. So, I'm starting with this, and I'm starting the Let's Play to do it. So, this is the Blackwell Legacy, which is a point to click adventure thingy. And I started playing it on my laptop at my boyfriend's house, and I thought it was cool. I've only gotten all the way into it, so it's mostly blind. And I've only done it the once, so there's a lot of options I haven't tried and stuff like that. So, support is good. Preferably if you do comment and know the game and stuff. Spoiler free, just because I'd like to play these for the story. And I will try not to talk much, at least this time. Later on when I get a microphone and it's not late at night, I might talk some more. So, there we go. So, I guess this is it. Years of watching and waiting and hoping, and it comes down to this. Do I love you? Do I miss you? I don't know for sure, I hardly know you. But you're the closest thing to family I've got, and I suppose that's something. Goodbye, Auntie. Wherever you are. What a morning. At least I'm home now. <clears throat> hi there. Um, hi? So who are you visiting today? Oh, ha ha. Seriously, who are you here to see? Can't let you in unless you tell me. Um... I live here? No, you don't. I know everybody in the building. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Jim Birdo. All right. Jim, where's the regular doorman? Jeez, where have you been? He's on strike. He's what? Strike. All the building servicemen in the city are doing it. Union rules or something. I stepped in to help because I know everybody. How come nobody told me? Notices were posted all over the building. I put them up myself. If you lived here, you'd have seen him. Who pays attention to things like that? Well, that's not my problem. Listen, I really live here. Fourth floor, number 4E. 4E? Hmm. Isn't that apartment empty? No! I live there! And I want to go there. Thank you very much. Oh, hmm. Maybe you're telling the truth. He sees reason. Thank God. Do you have any ID? A driver's license or something? Yes. I have a driver's license. It's upstairs. In my desk drawer. Crap. <laughs> Come on, this is New York. Who actually drives? True. But I still can't let you in unless you prove you live here. I have my apartment key. Will that do? Sorry, no. That could be any key. Well, let's go upstairs and see if it works. 
and leave the door unattended? Can't do it. Sorry. Really? I live here. Nice try. I know everyone in this building, and I don't know you. Sorry. I've lived here for five years. Then how come I've never seen you before? I have no idea. Doesn't matter. If you lived here, I'd know you. That's all there is to it. Please, I've had a really tough morning. I need to get home. Sorry, lady. Rules are rules. Okay, I have no ID, and you don't know me. What can I do to prove that I live here? Hmm. Well, can anyone in the building vouch for you? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really know anybody here. How long have you lived here again? Be quiet. Not all of us are social butterflies. Okay, whatever. Hey, what about Nishanti Sharma? He could vouch for you. Who is this Nis... uh, Nish... Nishanti. Nishanti Sharma. He lives in 4F. You know, right next door to 4E. You really don't get out much, do you? Your point? Nothing, but I'm sure she could vouch for you. Great, call her up. She's not here. Of course she isn't. So I gotta wait here all day for her. You might have to. Although, she usually goes to Washington Square Park in the mornings. You can look for her there. How long is this strike going to last? I don't know. Could be a couple hours or a couple days. Depend on whether they reach a settlement or not. I don't know the details. I'll be back. See you around. Alright, so to test my recording and sound and whatnot, I'm gonna pause it here for now. I might re-record this part later. We'll see. Hopefully I will see you all later.